Hey, Pijama Bosses, Miguel here, and welcome to another episode of Pijama Bosses TV. I hope you're having a great, amazing day. And today, as you can see here, I'm not in the office. I am a designated driver for the lady. And since I'm here, you know, just waiting for her to come back from her acupuncture appointment, uh, I was just thinking maybe I can do something useful with my time and talk to you guys. And since uh, I haven't talked to you for a week, um, here's, uh, here's one thing that I wanted kind of to, to share with you since, uh, since last week. So um, many people uh, come to Masha and I sometimes uh, and uh, you know, they want to get some kind of duplication system or a system for their teams. And uh, most of the time people come to us, they've been working very long hours for a very long time. Uh, they started this business with a lot of enthusiasm and willingness to work really hard and do whatever it takes, right? And this is this is kind of a given, you know, if you really want to have success in life or not just in, I guess, in network marketing and everything, you know, you need to be willing to do whatever it takes, right? Um, and as I said, some, as I say sometimes, you know, we have this kind of idea that the harder you work, the more success you're gonna have, you know, and uh, it is true, but it's not a hundred percent true, and that's probably, you know, uh, coming back from, the, you know, the the episode of the not becoming the superhero of your own business, you know, if you haven't watched that, by the way, uh, somewhere in here there will be a button, and you can go back and and watch uh, and watch that one. Um, but uh, you know, working extremely hard doesn't mean you're gonna be extremely successful, right? So, most of, as I was saying, most of the people that come to us, they they be working already in their business for a little while. They had some success, um, but they, and they're trying now to scale their business, and this is where the challenge comes. The challenge comes when you're trying to scale their business and we hear about this thing called duplication from day one. If you want to be successful in network marketing, you need to create duplication. The more duplication, the more depth in your business, the more success you're going to have. Yet, at the beginning, you know, I guess sometimes, and, and that includes, uh, I, I include myself in that in that boat, I guess, when I started, you know, it's kind of ignorance ignorance on fire. You know, you, you do the work and you just basically go and do whatever it takes again and and work and work and you know eventually something happens and the challenge sometimes is when you don't understand when things are happening and how they're happening um, and you don't have a very clear process you know um, and then you know the challenge is the following the challenge is that when you don't have a clear process you don't know what goes wrong if you don't know what goes wrong you cannot fix it and challenges are always there and things are always gonna go let's say it wrong you know because there is something that is a given in this business and is the human factor and we all feel like we are uniquely defective right we are all unique in our own way or we try to be right and sometimes we try to reinvent the wheel regardless of what our sponsor tells us our upline our mentors it doesn't really matter you know there is a point in time where they know but they don't know exactly who I am my background or the country that I'm from and yeah, probably maybe I could do this a little bit different so I can get faster to where I want to get. So, so anyway, going back to you know uh, people that come to us, they they come to us and they're looking for duplication. And for them, systems equals duplication, right? And but when you ask somebody or someone about what is duplication, you know, they they the first thing they say, well, it's about having a big team, right? It's about you know having passive income or or it's about you know making money when you sleep right um, but here's the thing and this is the thing that I, I hopefully this kind of gives you a better understanding about what dupl duplication really is about you know at least from our point of view and again I always say I'm not arrogant enough to say that my way is the only way it's just another way and it's just again my opinion is just another opinion you know whether that hits home for you or not that's I guess that's a different story right so if it helps um, the way that my wife and I, Masha, you know, the lady that I'm driving today um, to the acupuncture uh, people, <laughs> um, the way we understand duplication is as, as follows, you know, and, and some of you guys probably have heard that from Masha and I already. If I was to ask you, you know, um, what is the biggest and the best duplication tool ever invented 
by mankind in the history of humanity, okay? I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a few ideas, right? Um, and they might be right. But here's the thing that the, the one that I kind of, it kind of dawns on me or, or kind of comes to mind straight away to me when I think about duplication. The best tool ever invented by mankind in duplication is called Google. <laughs> yes, that's right. Google. Why? Why Google? Well, they have taught in the space of, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years or I don't know how, however long Google has been out and about. I, I At this point in time, I'm in the car, so I, I haven't even researched how long uh, or when Google was founded, 1990 something, obviously, when Internet was about uh, around, right? Um, so why Google? Because they have taught planet Earth almost I would say every single person around the world eh, on planet earth one and only thing and you know what that is if you don't know something what do you do yep you google it right so that's very simple can you teach anybody to do that well Google already proved that right um, David there is you know you you don't even say you research it you say you google it right that's how how they have taught every single person around the world to go and research you don't do research anymore you google it right you don't need to know anything the only thing you need to know is that you can find it going to Google and you know going into the search bar and saying how to whatever or whatever name you want to put in there and click on the button and then you get a million options right and they have taught us that that is duplication they have taught 7 billion people or 8 billion people I don't know what the population the world population is to do one thing right so if you take the same principle and you apply that to your network marketing business what do you think duplication is gonna be like well it should be something like this you know I'm a brand new member okay in my team and I go and ask my upline uh, how to find more prospects or how to talk to my prospects and guess what duplication is the following my upline instead of telling me you know for an hour how to talk to people how to prospect how to invite instead of doing that my upline says you know what go to your system and there is a 20 minute video that tells you how to prospect people or how to invite people watch that video it's 20 minutes come back and let me know if you have any questions think about that for a second what is the number one thing that people have always in their mind when you talk to them I'm not good enough right so by you telling somebody I don't know anything I just go to the system and I know where to find it in the system yeah if you don't know something Google it well if you don't know something in network marketing in your business go to your system how many people do you think that quit already your business would have stuck a little bit longer and thought hmm, maybe I can do this business because I don't need to know anything I just need to know where to find the information when somebody comes and asks me a question I don't need to know I don't need to know the answer I just need to know where to find the answer right and that is duplication how many people do you think you can have at one time at one given moment in the same second all around the world trained if you had a system that everybody relies on everybody goes and clicks on a button and that button plays a video that says how to prospect you know people in network market or for network marketing for your opportunity how to invite people and 10,000 people go on the v one given time all around the world and click on a button and they get trained and the only thing they had to do is to go and ask somebody and that somebody pointed to the tool right so think about that what can that that can do to your duplication so again the magic word duplication there is many people around the world that talks about it uh, not many people get to experience the many people get to have big teams but again for me duplication I guess in a way and, and again I'm, I'm not saying that is the only way but when I talk when I think about duplication I think about the following I think about having big teams and myself not having to babysit every single person me not having to work 24 7 to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to succeed it's not about you know myself and somebody that i personally sponsor today duplication for me means the following because i have a system that i can rely on the person that comes in two years from today into my business 
20 levels beneath me, they have the very same opportunity as somebody that I personally sponsor. Because you, all of you as leaders, you know, when you personally sponsor somebody today, you have more experience than the brand new person. You have more experience than probably anybody else in your team, right? And when they come to you, you might have all the answers. But every time you give somebody an answer, instead of pointing to the tool, either you are enhancing duplication or you are hindering duplication. It's, you know, in my opinion, I guess uh, there is no gray area. Either you enhance duplication or you hinder duplication. So by me pointing to the tool instead of me being the superstar that knows everything, what I'm doing is enhancing duplication because that brand new person, the only thing they understand is, oh, Miguel doesn't know anything. He's making money. He, everything is going well for him. And the only thing he does is pointing me to the tool. So tomorrow when I have a brand new team member, I can do this. I don't need to know anything. I just need to know where to find it and then point to the tool to that person, right? And again, thinking about that, you know, 20 levels beneath you two years from today, do you think somebody in your team would be able to replicate that? Most probably, yes. Now, do you think somebody in your team, you know, 20 levels beneath you two years from today will be able to replicate all your knowledge, all your personality and everything you do? Most probably not. So systems are there to enhance duplication if you use it the right way. If you use it the wrong way, it will enhance something else that is not duplication, you know, inefficiency, right? And that's why systems, you know, they are good but they are not the silver bullet. It's all about course correction and adding you know, tools, adding processes into the system. So you are enhancing duplication, you enhance efficiency, so you can have bigger teams faster and people are excited, it creates momentum, and then what? Duplication and creating duplication is a bigger team, it creates momentum, everybody's excited, and then you can actually experience making money in your sleep and doing all these things that many people talk about but not many people get to experience okay so anyway i hope that kind of made sense you know probably i rumble around a little bit today uh but uh, i think you know I'm, I'm hoping sometimes you know that um, you know it hits home for 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 some of you you know if it's only the one person that kind of uh, hits home for i'll be very very happy uh if not it's it's okay you don't need to keep listening to me uh but if it did um here's what i would like you to do you know first of all if you think this is useful uh if you can think of somebody that might benefit from this uh make sure that you click on any of the buttons that will be around here you click share uh make sure that you tag that person if you're in facebook um and Make sure that they listen to this. Um, I always say, you know, the best thing that you can do always is to use tools to your advantage. You don't need to explain it. As I said, you know, Google it, you know, point to the tool. And uh, if you are looking for a system, you know, that's another thing. If you're looking for a way to scale your business, you're a leader, you've been working, you know, um, a few hours a day for, for quite a while and you're afraid to step out of your business because you, business, you think that your, may, your business may stop when you stop. Um, it might be time for, for us to have a quick chat because it doesn't have to be that way. Um, you know, it's a great way in this, this profession, you know, gives you a, an amazing, amazing opportunity to have a business where you can help, you know, millions of people, right? Um, but you need to be able to have the bandwidth and the strength and the time to be able to help all these people. You know, sometimes we just carry them on our back and you know it makes it really hard when we scale our business so anyway in the meantime i hope you guys are having an amazing day pyjama bosses tv another episode and miguel here coming at you from australia so have an amazing day and talk soon bye